Welcome back. In the last video, we were looking at this vertical curve example, and we were using our givens, uh, which were uh, the stations 20 and 30, the elevation of uh, point of vertical intersection, which is 608, our grades, and we use that information to figure out what the elevation of the beginning of vertical curvature was and the end of vertical curvature. And we also use that information to figure out what the point, um, what the elevation of this point was. And that point was 604.25. And in this video, we want to find the elevation of the highest point on this vertical curve. This is a crest curve, so it's going to have a high point. Um, and in order to do that, we need to first locate where that high point is located or is, is stationed, I should say. Um, and if you remember from the last several videos where we talked about um, finding the high-low points, um, we had an equation to find just that. And that equation was x, high or low. Um, in this case, the, the, the subscript here, um, h and l mean high and low. Since this is a crest curve, really we should only worry about the high point. So um, x, h is equal to negative g1, the entering grade, times the length of the curve over the difference between the two grades, g2 minus g1. Um, and we also had another formula. Um, we could also use negative g1 over 2a. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and solve for x using both of these equations to kind of show you um, that you'll get the same result. And then we'll use that uh, location of the highest point uh, to find the elevation of that highest point. So this formula right here, this xh formula, is only going to give us, um, is only going to really tell us where the location of this highest point um, is relative to the BVC. Once we have that information, we can use that um, to find out what the elevation of that point is. All right, so x is going to be, let's do, uh, let's, let me do it in blue, or let's do it in red. Let me do this, this one first here. You can use either one of these, both will work. Um, so the first one is negative g1, um, which is 2, times l, which is 10 stations, right? The length of the curve is 10 stations, um, my, over g2 minus g1. g2 is negative 1 uh, minus grade 1, which is 2. Okay, so once you do this math, you'll see that it's uh, negative 2, uh, oh, I'm sorry, negative 20 over negative 3. And if you divide that out, you'll get x, or the highest point, is located at 6.667 uh, stations from BVC. Okay, so that point is located somewhere, somewhere here, right? So 20 plus 6.67 would be 26.667 stations. This is where it's located. So the highest point is right there. And please note this drawing is not to scale. Um, yeah, so that would be my disclaimer. Um, so XH is 6.67 stations. That's where that location of the highest point is. Um, if we were to use this formula, G1 over uh, 2A times negative 1, um, you should get 6.67. Um, so A, let me do the A, A variable first. A is going to be g2 minus g1 over 2l. Okay, and that g2 is negative 1 minus 2 over 2 times 10. Um, if you solve this out, you'll get negative 3 over 20, right, for a. So, this is going to get a little bit messy, but negative g1 over 2a is going to be negative uh, 2 over 2 times a, which is negative 3 over 20. 
just making sure it's correct. Um, and you'll see here that, first of all, the twos cancel out and the negatives cancel out, right? So you're really left with um, 1 over 3 over 20. And if you simply uh, reverse this or find the reciprocal, it's going to be, or you multiply it by the denominator's reciprocal, it's going to be 20 over 3. And what do you know? 20 over 3, 20 over 3. That's equal to 6.667 stations, right? So x, you can find two different ways. You can use this equation here, or you can use the equation on the right. Um, both will give you the same same answer. Okay, so now that we figured out what, I'm sorry, where the highest point is located, uh, we can use this information and figure out what the elevation of that point is. And remember, our elevation equation is the elevation of any point along a vertical curve is equal to the elevation of the beginning of vertical curvature plus the entering grade uh, times that distance or times any distance plus ax squared. Okay, so we already know what EBVC is, it's 598, 0, 0, plus grade 1, which is 2, times x. Okay, so we are interested in this point, right, the highest point on this curve. We want to figure out what that elevation is. In order to do so, we need x. x is, remember, any distance from BVC. Since this is the point we're interested in, and that's located at 6.667 stations from BVC, our x in this case would be um, this 20 over 3, or 6.667, 6.667 stations, right? Um, plus our a term, and our a term we figured out um, up here, that's a, is negative 3 over 20 times um, x squared, 6.667 stations squared, right? So if we simply uh, solve this out, this is going to be 598 plus uh, 2 times 6.667 stations plus, I'm sorry, minus, so if you were to solve that out, it'd be minus uh, 6.667 stations, um, or not stations, but 6.667. Um, and if we solve this out, we'll get 604.67. So that, that tells us 604.67, that's the elevation of this point. All right, so we used what we knew about finding the highest point on a crest curve. Uh, we figured out where it was located, and that was at 6.667 stations from BVC. And we used that information to figure out what the elevation um, of this point was. All right, so hopefully that was a good introduction or a good introduction example um, about or, or using this equation and finding all the high-low points um, and kind of getting a sense of the problems you'd expect um, for vertical curves.